quote, silent victims. And for me, I got to a point, Claudia was like, I cannot not say anything anymore. Seeing his victims on TV, seeing Jeronda Pace, I was like, hold on. Her story is identical to mine, and we don't even know each other. But no one's paying attention, and guess why they're not paying attention? Because my name is not Hannah. I'm not blonde hair and blue eyed and live in the suburbs. Because if I was a white woman coming forward, you best believe it would have taken one time, and the whole nation would have rallied behind her to lock his black ass up. But because it's a black woman, all of a sudden, I'm trying to bring down a black man. Actually, it's the complete opposite. I'm trying to make this black man see you have to take ownership. You have to want your healing. You have children that are watching you do this thing called life. You have to right your wrongs. And I love you enough to not be another yes man on your camp. I love you enough to not sit around and collect checks and let you do the crazy shit that you're doing. As long as you're doing concerts, I'm getting paid. I don't care. Somebody had to love him enough to say, you know what? Enough. Stop. Get help. You need to right your wrongs. And if I had to be the one to do it, if y'all want to talk about me, if you want to say whatever you got to say, that's fine with me too. Mention, and this is a lot of shade and a lot of grease for y'all out there who want to talk about me when there's children involved. You have to understand that we have a legal system that is in place that will let a mother like me walk into court and say, well, he hasn't done anything to the children. He's has a right to see his children. So now you want me as his victim to make sure I facilitate visitation with this man, but you guys are not taking into accountability when there's pickup and drop off. What if that's the one time that he decides he's done and he's going to kill everybody? But he has a right to see his kids. So there's more to it. I have to also protect my children. And my children, unfortunately, were exposed to not just their mom being abused. Before I came out, they had to deal with the stories of pedophilia with their father. That's too much to put on young children that don't even understand. What Hello, and make sure you hit that like. Hit the share and make sure you're subscribed to all notifications. This video is just going to be a quick update to let you all know that according to reports, a federal judge in Brooklyn has set a trial date for R&B singer R. Kelly in the first full week of April 2021. Jury selection is set for April 6th and on April 7th trial commences. At the same time that's being reported, it's also saying that $1.5 million has been recovered in this frozen account at Sony. According to the article, R. Kelly has $1.5 million in royalties, but who will the money go to? According to this, there was a lawsuit between his past um, landlord and also one of the alleged accusers from his Chicago charges. Well, they're trying to figure out who's going to get this money now. Kelly's former Near West Side Landlord secured a $3.5 million judgment earlier this year against the jailed singer to cover past due rent. A woman sued the singer last year, alleging sexual abuse, and was awarded $4 million. That woman, who the Chicago Sun-Times is not naming, is one of Chicago's alleged victims. According to the awards, Issued in each suit, attorneys for both plaintiffs contacted Sony with a citation to discover assets, which revealed that Kelly had $1,542,333 in a now frozen account. The former landlord, Midwest Commercial Funding, a Wisconsin based property management company, argued it is entitled to all of that money because Sony acknowledged its citation one day before Kelly's alleged victim. Jeffrey Dutchman, the attorney representing Kelly's alleged victim, said he tried to compromise with Midwest commercial funding attorney Jamie Burns, 
Dutchman said he was rebuffed after he suggested Midwest Midwest commercial funding take one million and leave the rest for his client. Dushman said he expects the judge overseeing both suits to decide who gets the money in the coming days. Dutchman said he will appeal if the judge rules in favor of Midwest commercial funding. Burns and Brian Nix, Kelly's attorney in civil matters, didn't respond to requests for comment. Strange. Or should I say, another coincidence, considering this same attorney, Brian Nix, failed to respond to this lawsuit to begin with, which now will cost R. Kelly $4 million. R. Kelly rented the warehouse at 219 North Justine Street, which he used as a recording studio for Midwest commercial funding until he was evicted in January 2019 over his failure to pay rent. A highly publicized inspection by the city's Department of Building revealed numerous code violations. The building is for rent and in the midst of renovations according to rental listings for the property. So what are your thoughts on this revelation that Sony brings up this account in which R. Kelly's royalties have a total of 1.5 million in the account? Leave your comments below. Make sure you like and share.